All right, hey everybody. So we're gonna build some models today and we're here with my daughter, Alisa. She's gonna help us out to, to build some models. You ready, you ready to do that, Alisa? Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> over, over here, right, is the model that we're all, you're all familiar with that we, we, you know, it's in the textbook, right, and that we've talked about in previous videos. And it's written, this is a household consumption function and it's written out, you know, household consumption C is then equal to C0 plus C1 times the quantity Y minus T. And what this says in English is that households are gonna buy things, right? C0, they're gonna buy things for reasons that, that we don't know, right? Does that make sense, Lisa? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, okay, right? But then also if they receive more income, they're gonna spend a percentage of that additional income on things, right? And that income is Y and the percentage they're gonna spend is C1. But they're also gonna pay their taxes. So we subtract off the variable T. And then we end with the story that households will buy things and they will buy more things as their incomes increase after they pay their taxes. And the formal modeling looks like that over there. All right, now can we think of anything that we might wanna to add to this model? Could we build a somewhat more sophisticated model? What do you think, Elisa? What what other things might you add to explain why households spend money? Well, for the pandemic, they would use a lot of money to help themselves with the pandemic, like buying masks and materials. I think that makes a lot of sense. Let's see if we can take and build a model that looks like that. There it is. <laughs> okay, so now we have a little model that says, Household spending is equal to C0 plus C1 minus times the quantity Y minus T, so the same as before, but we've added an element, D1, okay? People will buy things. If they receive more income, they'll buy more after they pay their taxes. And if there's a pandemic, they'll buy some masks, okay? And then I made a little note there below, D1 equals the price of PPE, or protective uh, stuff that we, we would use in a pandemic. Okay, it's not so hard. What do you think, Elisa? Not so hard, right? Yeah, not so hard. Okay, what else do you think? How much money they have. Yeah, so maybe if people have a lot of like wealth and they're richer, maybe they'll... They they'll, can buy more stuff. They can buy more stuff. I think that makes a whole lot of sense. Okay, can we do that in a model? By golly, we sure can. Here, let's move us a little bit so people can see this model a little better. Up over there... We have that model now. Do you see that model, Lisa? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So what does that one say? Well, it says C equals C a function of W. Oh boy, does that seem confusing? Yes, very. Yeah, it seems confusing, but it's not. It's not, not confusing, okay? What it says is that consumption is a function of wealth. What we're saying here formally is a function of wealth. So we're expecting that as our wealth goes up, so does our consumption spending, okay? And then we've added in our usual explanation of household consumption that we've had in our previous models. Okay, let's do one more. What do you think, Elisa? Well, of course, holidays, because we have Halloween, birthdays, I don't know if that's a holiday, of Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah, so, so what about holidays? So, so maybe just like this, the, the, so we're, now it's the month of December that we're recording this. Could we say maybe the, you know, the... Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's take a look if we have something like that. By golly, there it is. <laughs> okay. All right, so what do we have here? <clears throat> it's a model where we've got this, you know, sort of regular stuff at the beginning, right? Let's, let's make this a little clearer here. Okay, so we've got all the regular stuff there, right? C0, C1, Y minus T, but then also we've added H1, times the quantity W. And so our story now says people will buy things and if they receive more income, they'll buy more things yet after they pay their taxes. And if it's also the holidays, they'll buy even more spending, <laughs> misspelled, <laughs> spending 10% of their total wealth. And then a note, H1 equals 0.1 if it's December. So we're gonna take 0.1 times our wealth and we're gonna add that to our spending during the month of December. And so this is our third little model. And this is really all there is to it. You know, when we're building economic models, we're just coming up with hypotheses about how we think people behave 
that then we can test using actual data. Does that make sense, Elisa? Yeah. Absolutely. Just like how I want to spend money when I find merchandise. There, there you go. Perfect, right? Anyway. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye.